Welcome to Foam Week TV, brought to you by SprayFoamLeads.com. I'm Heather Westrell, and here's what's happening this week on Foam Week. Energy One America was called in for an SPF project inside North Carolina's Camp Lejeune Marine Base. The crew applied NCFI's Insel Block Closed Cell Spray Foam to the exterior of three newly constructed buildings that will be used to house enlisted Marines and new recruits. Additionally, the crew applied foam along the attic soffits to seal the envelope of each building, providing an effective vapor, air, and moisture barrier. A whopping 163 sets of foam were used, amassing a total spray area of 500,000 square feet. Next. A crew from Innovative Spray Solutions took on a project to insulate a remote cabin in the Georgia mountains. The crew applied open cell spray foam to the exterior walls, the floor trusses, and the subflooring of the vacation home. Innovative Spray Solutions' Kelly Darty says that with the foam installation, the homeowner is going to be able to keep his energy bills low, have clean healthy air, improve the home's overall value, decrease sound from any outside noises, and have a consistent climate maintained throughout the home. Finally this week, Keller Contracting applied SPF to a damaged split roof system of a 100-year-old Canadian building. Both the flat roof and the low-slope metal roof had been damaged by pooling water and cracks. The crew applied closed-cell SPF to the roof and added two coats of acrylic liner to protect the foam. Applicators sprayed the foam on a grade to allow for drainage through the scuppers. For more information on these stories and more, visit SprayFoam.com. I'm Heather Westrell, and that's what's happening on Foam Week.